I'm John Coyle. Welcome to Auto Nation Drive's head-to-head -head feature. This week, we have the Chevy Colorado ZR2 Bison. This is the beefiest off-road rig on the menu from Chevy, and there's also diesel power available. Representing the imports is the Tacoma TRD Pro. This venerable competitor has long been a favorite of the outdoorsy set and showcases Toyota's legendary build quality. For more information on both these vehicles, visit AutoNationDrive.com, where you can browse through more than 70,000 new and used cars, select options, and even arrange a test drive at your local AutoNation dealer. Both the Chevy and the Toyota are great choices if you want to keep going when the going gets rough. So let's take a look at the engines, cabs, infotainment, and price to determine a winner. First, let's look at the powertrains. Our tester featured Chevy's 2.8 liter turbocharged diesel. The little mill is good for 181 horsepower and a robust 369 pound-feet of torque and comes mated to a six-speed automatic transmission. With the diesel under the hood, the Colorado is rated at 20 miles per gallon city, 30 highway. With the ZR2 package, the Colorado can tow 5,000 pounds and haul 1,000 pounds. Standard diesels can tow up to 7,700 pounds. In comparison, the TRD Pro comes with a 3.5 liter V6 pumping out 278 horsepower and 265 pound-feet of torque. While the lower Tacoma trims all come with a 6-speed automatic, a 6-speed stick is available on the TRD Pro. At 19 City and 24 Highway, fuel economy isn't as impressive as the Colorado, but the TRD Pro is rated to tow 6,800 pounds and haul 1,540 pounds. We like that the Colorado's diesel offers great torque and fuel economy, but we think the Toyota's superior towing and hauling capacity, along with the availability of the stick, gives it the win in the powertrains category. Next, let's look at the cabs. The design of the Colorado's interior has an attractive, modern feel. But while the standard leather seats are comfortable and the rear seats of the crew cab are roomy enough for adults, some of the plastics feel hard and material quality doesn't stack up against competitors in the segment. In contrast, the cab of the Toyota is somewhat utilitarian, but materials are high quality and overall the build quality feels excellent. That said, the interior is smaller across the board and there's less headroom in rear passenger space. Regarding cabs, we're going to call this a draw. Since both beds are right around 60 inches, that shouldn't be a factor. And since neither of these trucks is designed for over-the-top luxury, which one you'll prefer will likely come down to how much interior space you're looking for. In 2020, being built to tackle trails is no excuse to skimp on infotainment, and both the Chevy and Toyota come well equipped. Both have an 8-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Bluetooth, and available USB ports. Also, both systems are intuitive, and tech-savvy folks looking for a Wi-Fi hotspot will be able to pony up for it when it comes time to select options. Since these systems are more alike than they are different, we're going to call this another draw. Now, let's look at safety. In testing by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, the Colorado earned 4 out of 5 stars. While GM's Teen Driver Package, which allows parents to limit radio volume and vehicle speed, is standard, more advanced features like lane departure warning are optional. While the Tacoma also earned 4 out of 5 stars in NHTSA testing, it comes with Toyota Safety Sense P, which includes forward collision warning, forward automatic emergency braking, lane departure warning, pedestrian detection, and more. So as far as safety goes, we're going to give it to the Toyota. Finally, it's time to talk price. The Chevy Colorado ZR2 with the Bison package starts at $48,750 but just $43,960 will get you a Tacoma TRD Pro, though there's no diesel option. All told, this competition is close, and while we like the availability of the diesel in the Colorado, we think the Tacoma's better towing, manual option, and lower base price give it the win. Which do you think is the best choice? Leave a comment below, and also be sure to subscribe as we have more head-to-head -head comparisons coming up. I'm John Coyle, thanks for watching. For more information on both these vehicles, visit AutoNationDrive.com. We have more than 70,000 new and used cars and trucks available from coast to coast. To find your perfect vehicle, pick your options, and arrange a test drive at your local AutoNation dealer, get started at AutoNationDrive.com.